American slang words you need to know in 2020. Hey guys, welcome back to Chiari Lady Boss channel. Today we're here in Michigan. I left New York for a week. I'm here in Traverse City with Kat. Hi. And we're gonna talk about 18 American slang words you need to know in 2020. Not so long ago, I did another video with other 29 American slang words you need to know. I'm gonna leave you the link right here so that you can watch it. She is my future sister-in-law. and. Yay. She actually made the cut. What does make the cut mean? I'm asking you, what is made the cut? Make the cut means I got the part, I was accepted, and I got the role. Yeah, something else I really wanna cover today is I'm growing on you. We're growing on each other. She's growing on me, and I'm growing on her. Which means the more we get to know each other, the more we're getting to like each other. That's true. How can we also use growing on you, growing on me? It doesn't always have to be necessarily with a person. It could be an activity, a yeah. food, Food or anything that you're getting more accustomed to the more you try it. Yeah. It's growing on you. Yeah. I mean, you're getting to like it more. It's like New York City. When I first moved to New York City, I hated it and I didn't want to live there. Then it started growing on me and that means that I started loving New York City more and more and now I can't leave the Big Apple. I feel the same way actually about Traverse City, Northern Michigan. Yeah, because Kat is from Detroit mm -hmm. area. So I'm used to more city environment, Northern Michigan's more uh, rural and small town um, but it's growing on me actually I'm gonna leave you another link of the things you should check out in Traverse City Michigan and it's gonna be right here we're having a very good time filming this video because my brother is bothering us so much and he keeps coming out of left field out of nowhere <laughs> making us crack up very unexpectedly when you say something is coming out left field that means it's something you're not expecting yes so it could be a person, it could be a phrase, it could be an event, anything that's unexpected. It's a baseball term, you don't see the ball coming. And when we say crack up, it means that we're laughing so hard. Yes, we're, our voices are cracking, we're laughing, having a good time. I'm gonna add something else, which is laughing my ass off. Or L-M-A-O. Yeah, that's how we use it in terms of texting. It's either L-O-L. If it's very funny, L-M-A-O. You're not literally laughing your ass off but you're cracking up so hard you're laughing a lot yeah when I first met Kat three years ago I believe she booed up with my brother which means we were very close and starting dating and getting along very well I've seen you guys getting along and going through thick and thin throughout the years that's true we've gotten a lot closer we've gone through rough times and good times and that's what thick and thin kind of means through thick and thin you overcome obstacles and like you keep going not giving up no matter what the terrain through the thick terrain and the easy terrain yeah and you guys never broke up not even once we wow. never split up okay another term I wanted to bring up for the American slang words you need to know in 2020 is break up. Break up is when two people are separated. To dump someone is one person leaves the other person. Yeah, we just had a very good lunch at a golf club in Traverse City, but I think I'm not gonna have a six packs anymore after this lunch. Not for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What is a six pack? Six pack is a definition of abs. There's eight to 12 abdominal muscles in the torso and what they refer to as a six pack is when you can see each abdominal defined usually two by three rows but also you can use the term six packs when you're talking about beers yeah very different meaning meaning of six pack six pack of beer you go and pick up six cans or six bottles it's referred to as a six pack but remember if you did this on purpose bringing me here so that I'm not gonna have my six packs anymore you're gonna get it back because what comes around goes around and that means what I put out will come back to me so whatever I I do to her or put out into the universe will eventually circle back upon myself. Another American slang word you need to know in 2020 is no-brainer. A no-brainer could refer to something that doesn't take much thought or uh, determination. It is obvious and comes easily to the brain. You don't have to think very hard about it. So coming to Traverse City for me was a no-brainer. Right, because you know people here, the scenery is beautiful. You had to choose one place to travel. Post-COVID, I think Traverse City was a no-brainer. Yeah. How else 
would you use no-brainer? Something that's obvious. If I say the sky is blue, well, that was a no-brainer. Before we move on to more American slang words, we're gonna take you to a very special and nice village called Lee Land, and we're gonna try to interview people and ask them their interpretation of some of the words that we picked for you guys. Let's go. Should be fun. Yeah. Can you please make sure that the camera doesn't get wet? Yes, I've got your back. What do you mean you got my back? I've got you. Don't worry. I'll watch out for you. That's another thing you guys are supposed to know. I... Oh. I <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? You said you got my back, but you don't have my back. This umbrella <laughs> doesn't have my back. Wait, we gotta face this way. Before you said, I've got your back, what did you mean? It means you don't have to worry, I'll watch out for you. <laughs> we're changing the pictures. No, I don't know if they're fine to be on camera. Are you okay? Yes, we're vlogging. Okay, about slang. About American slang. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. So Kat, what did you ask them? We're in Fishtown, so I was wondering if anybody here knew what it meant to be catfish. Yeah, I guess. Like when you put a fake picture of yourself posing to be someone else. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. In the Social media of, world? In the hopes of gaining what? I don't know whether it's like a chick doing it to a guy or a guy doing it to a girl. Trying to fool or somebody girl, that you yeah. look a certain way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. Has, have you <laughs> ever been catfish? <laughs> I, I can't fish her. Sure. You no. can't fish her! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got it. <laughs> it worked out. Thank you. No Hi. 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 Can we ask you something? We have a question. <laughs> I'm vlogging about American slang. Can I ask you if you know what boot up means? What? What? Means? Boot up? Isn't that like all something? Boot up. Like if you're boot up. What? Uh -huh. Boot up with somebody. <laughs> Choose another, okay, you choose one from the list and you tell me okay. the meaning. Actually, you tell on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what play it by ear means. <laughs> it means just to like, wait and see what happens. Like, okay, I'm gonna play it by ear. Like, we can just wait and see what happens. That's good. <laughs> I guess being catfished is like meeting some, like my way to explain it is like meeting someone online and like seeing a picture yeah. of them and like it looks nothing like them or like they're completely like different in person. Yeah. Hey, Thank you, lady. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Uh, New York and Traverse City. Oh, nice. Going back to the car, we're leaving Leland. We're gonna head to another village and then back to Traverse City. But cats. I've seen there's no speed limit sign on the streets. That's true. Are you worried about getting flicked? Maybe. Getting flicked means when the police pull you over. It comes from when they flash their lights at you. They flick their lights at you. Okay. You think I should take it easy? I think you should take it easy. So, take it easy is another slang. That means... Go slow. Be careful. Don't worry. Well, in this case, take it easy definitely means be careful. But you can say take it easy when you say bye-bye to someone. Yeah, it's also a way of saying goodbye. Take it easy. Guys, we're back! It's time to say bye-bye because I think we're all set. All set, we're good to go. Done. What's done is done. Yeah, we're done. We finished. When something is all set, that means it's done, it's finished, it's over. You can also use that in a restaurant if the waiter asks, is there anything else I can do for you? No, I'm all set. Yeah. They will understand to bring the check. True. So guys, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about the video. What's your favorite word and what you learned today from the 18 American slang words that we covered. And if there was any that she didn't touch on that you would like to see in the next video. That's true. Thank you so much, Kat. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm expecting a lot of thumbs up. And I'll see you soon for another vlog from New York City. That's all for today from Chiari, Lady Boss, and Kat. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>